Hi, I'm Lynn from T. Rose Mandalas, and today I'm going to show you how to make a shaped rock out of the very, very large heart silicone mold that we sell on our Etsy store. Now this is a very huge mold. <laughs> it takes a lot of, of UltraCal and or cement. And uh, so when you purchase the, the silicone mold, you get this in, in your package, and this is your recipe. And so it tells you exactly how many ounces of UltraCal as well as how many ounces of water you need. So you'll need 47.2 ounces of UltraCal, and I've already pre-measured it into this bag. And then you'll need 19.7 ounces of water. I usually use warm water because I'm using my hand to mix it up, and that's just much more comfortable. You'll need a bowl to mix it in. You will need a uh, scale in order to uh, measure it out. And I like the scales that uh, have the tear feature, and that means just around pushing it back to zero. So you can put something on it and then push the tear button, and then it'll mark that as zero. And so that makes it easier so you don't have to keep weighing things and then try and mix them all together. And then you'll need a, a rubber glove and a spatula to get all the rest of the UltraCal out of here. And you will need your silicone mold and we're going to use the mold riser today. This is something that you can get on our Etsy store. And basically, it allows the, you to put the, the mold on it, and it keeps it up off the surface. And so that way, when it dries, the gravity will pull it down a little bit, and then it'll make the top of the shaped rock a little bit more round. So let's get started. So I've gotten everything together. I've got my scale right here. And I've got my bowl, I've got my pre-measured UltraCal, and so we're going to pour the UltraCal into the bowl. There we go. Get all of it. Okay. Now, we're going to tear out the scale, and I wish that I could show it to you, but it just isn't going to show. But at least you can see part of it. So now we're going to add 19.7 ounces of water. So we're going to slowly add it and watch till it hits 19.7. Okay, almost there. Oh, 19.5. Six. Just a little bit more. And 19.7. All right. So now we'll take it off of the scale. We're finished with the scale now. We don't need that anymore. Now we'll put on the rubber glove. And it's just easiest to mix this. And get that right in there. There we go. It just ma makes it easiest to mix this um, with your hand. Now this glove is a little bit big for my hand, so I kind of have to hold on to it, otherwise it's going to slip off. So all you're doing is just smushing it between your fingers, and this way you're trying to get all the lumps out. And it doesn't take too long, really, to do this. We're almost there. You kind of got to go as, kinda a little slow because you don't want a lot of air bubbles and you don't have a lot of time to be letting it sit and let those air bubbles go away because it'll start setting right here in the bowl. So I think we're good. Well, we got a couple of big lumps in there I'm still feeling. Let me see if I can get those out. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Now, check one more time. Okay, I'm going to take that off and put it over here and wipe off my hands. You don't want it to stick on your hands because it can dry out your skin. Now we're going to move the silicone mold with the mold riser and uh, make it so that it's. you want to leave it where it's going to sit and give it some time to sit. It'll probably take, usually it takes an hour for things to really set um, with UltraCal, but this one's so thick I think it's going to take even longer. 
So I like to just leave them overnight. So now we're just going to pour this in. We're going to go a little slow so that we don't make any air bubbles. And you can see some of the some of the lumps in there as it's coming out. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I should use my left hand. That way you can see it just a little bit better. And just pour until you get to the top. See, I rushed on that one. And then now, let me see if I can get just a little bit more out of here. There we go. All right. Okay. Oh, got too much. It's spilling out. And you just have to let it spill out. All right. Okay. Now I'll have to clean all that up. And I'll clean it up in a little bit. All right. So the best way to clean this is to take, I like to use a wet paper towel and clean it off. And then do the same thing with the bowl. Just clean it out and try and get as much as you can out of it. Because I don't want this to go down my drain. I don't want cement to harden in my pipes. So there we go. And then I take a dry one. And then I'll just throw that paper towel away is what I'll do. All right. So now we're going to let this set for a little while and, uh, and see, it'll allow it time to be able to um, set and then we'll come back and we'll take it out of the mold. See you soon. Hello again. So we've waited a few hours and our rock is looking really good. It has, uh, it, it is dried pretty well. It needs many days to really dry, but we can go ahead and get it out of that mold. So the first thing we're going to do is lift it up off of the mold riser. So there we go. And now we can move the mold riser out of the way. Got a little wet. Okay, and it is rocking. <laughs> okay, ready? Now it kind of spilled over a little bit because I put too much in there. So here we go. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? Now let's compare that to one that we did before. Can you see both of those? And now I'll Let's see if you can see that. It is much rounder. Much rounder. The top is much, much rounder. I have a little dent in here. But other than that, it is really, really beautiful and soft. Mm. Now I'll leave this for a good week or two to let all the moisture come out of it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that uh, if you like the video, please Put, put a like down there and subscribe to us on our uh, YouTube channel and come visit us at T. Rose Mandalas on Etsy. Thank you so much. Bye for now.